It's for my stuff directly. So here we have a test of five axis milling with the shop So we have a simple geometry representing the spindle that would move along three axes, which we can read out the coordinates of here. And then we have one rotational axis along the x axis and another one on the z axis of that axis here. So if you now start the simulation, we will rewind and then you can see actually uh, a live simulation of the five axes. So on this is the object, then we have a, sort of a test toolpath and you can see the plane uh, traveling around toolpath. And then we use the, the alignment and position of that plane to simulate uh, how these two axes, additional axes will rotate in, in addition to the classic three axes that you have on the shop. So you can see actually here the numbers, the coordinates for the X, Y, and Z axis being displayed in real time as well as the amount of rotation in degrees being displayed in real time for the A and the B axis. And the really cool thing about the ShopBot software is that it supports having two additional software uh, axes in the default control software. So you just, you just uh, uh, push on buttons to tell the software that you actually have five axes and then you need two additional step drivers and two additional step motors to control these two axes. To do this, this simulation, we use uh, Grasshopper and Rhino. So here you can see the code. And this part of the code is actually the most important. This is where we, we take that, that plane and figure out if the plane is in this position, uh, how would the two axes need to be rotated, which you can see comes out here. And then uh, this part of the um, simulation is actually just to first to build the geometry, the cylinders and the boxes to, to simulate the motors and the spindle and then uh, the preview to, to set the color and the sort of the output how it would look. And then the classic nice thing with everything you do in Grasshopper and Rhino is that it will update immediately. So if we now look here at the test geometry, we see you have this curve here going around our geometry and we, we are fi actually finding the closest point on the geometry from that curve. If we move that to the outside, then all the curves will be on just on one side and we will immediately have a new toolpath and immediately you can see we get a new simulation here. So we can then play around with changing you know, where does that curve get projected on the geometry and then how would that affect the rotation. And this system which, uh, with two additional rotational axes on the three axis uh, system is called the Trunion. So if you Google T-R-U-N-N-I-O-N, you will find some examples of how they use these two axes in the industry to do uh, three axis metal milling and so on. 